The grace period for utilities is almost over, which for some people means you could have services turned off if you're behind on payments. Levi Ismail is speaking with one woman working to rebound and keep her lights on while still waiting on her very first unemployment check. NES and other utility services say they will offer you a payment arrangement, but for many of the folks who haven't received any unemployment money, there are no guarantees. And so right now, they're just trying to buy time. They said it was a temporary layoff. Which was supposed to last three, maybe four weeks. Then we were told it was going to be around the second week of June that we would be returning. But it wasn't until this morning when Heather Robertson of Laredo heard that at the earliest, she may have to wait until August. And without receiving any employment, unemployment in at all yet, that thought really terrifies me. The fear never really sank in until just days ago, her water was shut off. Robertson called Lawrenceburg Utility for help and managed to find this post. Our utility companies here are gonna start shutting off again. So then that ad added a whole new layer to the stress level. Lawrenceburg Utilities gave Robertson two weeks to come up with the money, but restored her water until then. They say disconnections will begin June 1st. And as for NES, they say they're pleased to extend the grace period and even waive late fees until June 30th. Without hearing anything from unemployment and not being able to get through you know, and then when you do get through, it's, oh, well, wait another seven to 10 days. Well, at, at another seven to 10 days, that could put me over the cutoff date. Places like Metro Action Commission and South Central Human Services can help low-income families make those payments. Robertson says she's already made the call because at this point, she can't wait any longer. Levi Ismail, News Channel 5.